What is going on guys, my name is Dimitri and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna break down for you guys what a Notion synced block is and how you guys can utilize it to make your Notion workspace better. Before I get into that, make sure to subscribe to this channel. A lot of the people that view it actually don't watch it. So please make sure that you subscribe to this channel, leave a like and all that fun stuff. So with that being said, let's get into Notion synced blocks. A Notion sync block is essentially a block that you can put within Notion. And for those of you that aren't familiar with Notion, it is a series of pages and blocks put together that can organize your entire life. If you wanna learn more about Notion in general, I have a video that you can watch right here. And I honestly think this is going to be one of the best new blocks that Notion is going to implement for a while. So I have the Notion synced global header that is kind of a sort of hack based thing that used to happen and instead of needing to do that anymore you can now sync certain blocks all over your workspace so if you make a sync block essentially what can happen is you can have that exact same block over the entirety of your workspace you can just copy and paste it into different pages and you'll have the exact same set of things that are all synced up you can unsync the specific blocks you paste it's honestly amazing so to get more into that we're going to take a deep dive into my notion workspace right now what's going on guys so i'm going to try out something a little bit different today i'm going to actually go into my notion workspace and for once for one single time actually go and do one of these like one of the old like uh get the little head in the quarter thing sorry for the setup i'm just i'm figuring things out but anyways so we're going to go in here and show you guys what a notion sync block is i've actually made one already but i want to go through this step-by-step -step process to show you Hey, you can get a global header. So this is what I was talking about before in regards to, hey, this is like the old hack way, which I like it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to exactly uh, act like it's the worst thing in the world. But for those of you that don't want to go through the whole hack way thing, you want maybe something a little bit smaller, which I actually may end up implementing this because when you do something like this, it's not nearly as space effective. As you can see, there's a little bit of a difference between the two of these. I'll bring these together. As you can see... A little bit different right so if you want to get something like this so you can put it as a global header on the top or sync anything across content I'm gonna go and show you guys this in this tutorial so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to go into notion and showcase what it can do in regards to this type of sync block so first and foremost let's make a sync block that looks just like this so I'm gonna control X this and actually make a new page let's make a new page so for the purposes of this, uh, let's go to the bottom here and do slash page. Let's do global header synced block. And now this is where we can work. So here's the example that I made, right? So what this basically is, is a series of icons that I then took and put links into them to make them a global header. So. What a sync block is, is essentially syncing stuff across different pages and you can choose to copy and sync this into another page and it'll show you actually how many different blocks you're editing it in or syncing it in. So in order to create this, I'm going to type slash SY and you can obviously type more if you want, but then click synced block. You can obviously make blocks in different ways by hitting the plus sign, scrolling and finding it, but I just find that to be the better way of doing it. Okay, so that's uh, one option. You can do this as well but anyways I'm gonna delete that so now we have a synced block so this is a home so I'm gonna do a nice little header that actually just it gets rid of this right so I don't really like this I'm not gonna lie I never did so I found out how to do the old other thing and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do colon and then type whatever I want so this is a house right and say house okay so this signifies the Dimitri's workspace so if you want to do this you really need to find emojis that fit. Uh, you can actually do something similar, so I'll make a second sync block. I don't know why I changed this. So you can do the exact same thing, but if you wanna do it with text, it works as well. So you can go and type something like this, H, right? So it'd be the exact same thing. Um, and what you can then do is copy the link from whatever pages you want, and then you right click, not right click, and then you do this, you left click and drag over, go to link, link to Dimitri's workspace, and then watch this. I click on it, boom, 
I'm there. So I want to do this for every single part of it. So I'm actually just going to do a little bit of a speed up here and showcase that you can do this for everything. I'll show you one or two more. So in order to like break things up, let's do a hyphen between each, right? And the nice thing about this actually is that you can make it different sizes, right? Notebook for daily planner. Sadly, you can't do it with like the custom SVG emojis that I have, the black and white ones. So I went, I go back and forth between these. So that's actually going to be good that I'm making this for myself because in the future I'll, I'll probably enjoy it. And, and unlike with the other way that I did it, I am going to have a lot of different options and it's going to be a lot more easy than the old way of doing things. And then you can do this for whatever else you want. So for me, I actually really don't like the fact that I made this, this size for myself. I really, a while ago, um, was annoyed that the fact that like I wanted like one more, right? I wanted like my framework here. This is something that I really like. So what I'm gonna be able to do now with this new sync block is add that in there because my thing here is I don't want it to overflow when I'm on my phone. So I don't want to like take up more space than is available on like the, the cross part of my phone. So now what I can do is I can make it a different size than the heading one. I can make it a heading two size and I can fit one more icon in most likely. So now as you can see, I have finished up this work here. And what I can do is I can take this and I can copy it to any page I want. So I can go copy and sync, copied, now paste in any page to sync the content. Let's go to something like my workspace again. And as you can see, I can go one row below and paste and boom, I am good to go. I have the exact same thing. It's in a sync block rather than the old crazy thing I had before. Um, I may go through and change it and use the sync block. It's a little bit better. Uh, the other way is a little more rudimentary. You had to basically had to copy part of a URL and go into the browser. And I much prefer the application over the browser. So I, I may change it. Um, as mentioned earlier, you know, there, there's a lot more options in this regard. You can actually do something like this, which is interesting, right? So you got copy and sync, editing original. And you can go and, and unsync here. So watch this. So if I make a change before unsyncing like this, if I go and do something like this, it'll actually make an edit on the previous page. So if we remember, it's here. This has this now, but watch. Watch if I do something like this. If I go here, delete this. And then if I can do something like this and go to the other page, say I want to make a change, but have it be different, I can press unsync. And what do we got? If I go back, there's no line because it's unsynced. So that is the way that you can use synced blocks in Notion. And we're gonna go back to me doing the A-roll thing because that that options, that's, that's another way to do it. I, I talk like that too. So if you want more Notion or productivity app based videos, please let me know. I honestly think I'm gonna dive into more of these productivity apps. I think it'd be great content for the channel. I appreciate all the support recently. I know Notion is one of those things I talk about all the time, but seldom make a video on. So I, I kind of think it's important that I you know, dive into some of these productivity apps, Google Calendar, Notion. I just started using Microsoft To Do as well as some other things like Todoist. And I think it could probably help with helping you guys improve your productivity rather than me just talking about productivity principles, which while are great when being used, I think tools are awesome to be used as well. And I think Notion's awesome, but I also know that a lot of you guys aren't exactly going to build out a whole workspace. So it's better if you learn about things like Todoist, which are just basic to-do lists, as well as other different things. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.